Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with IFIS, intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11.30 o'clock. And now, this is a bit of adrenaline to see if the people dilates little bit. Now I inject visco and with the help of this viscoelastic substance, people dilates little more. So, we can get an adequate sized capsular axis in this case. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now capsular axis is done with the help of uh, uterate of forceps. Capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise. It is guided in such a way that we get an adequate size trexis. The iris tends to prolapse through the main wound. The patient is 85 years old with BHP, benign prostatic hyperplasia. The patient is on tamsulosin for two years and patient has several other comorbidities. Viscoelastic substance is injected judiciously. If we inject too much visco, the iris will prolapse through the main wound. Optimum amount of visco injected and now I am using this pre-chopper to divide the nucleus into pieces. In the left hand is a sustainer, a ball tipped chopper or sustainer and now on heminucleus is chopped. This is a real time totally unedited recording, you are not missing anything. And now, little bit of visco, not much. If we inject a lot of visco, yes, iris will prolapse out through the main wound. And now I go into the SE with the handpiece. Ultrasonic, without irrigation. And as I start irrigation, an air bubble is there. I aspirate that ababble and now I try to get on piss. Yes, I have caught hold of a piss because it, it was pre-chopped and it has come out, it is emulsified at the iris plane and now I get the second piece. I subdivide it into smaller pieces with the help of this ball tipped chopper. The ball tipped chopper guards the iris so that the iris does not come to the aspirating port of the phaco needle. This heminucleus is chopped and it is emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 50 percent, flow rate is 45, vacuum is 450. Yes, the nucleus is managed. I don't stop here. With the help of this phaco needle, I try to remove some cortex. And I find that it was easy to remove the cortex with the help of this handpiece itself. I could remove all the cortex except a small speck of cortex at 5 o'clock. As I try to remove that, I caught the pupillary margin. Immediately, I released that and there is no iris shaping at that point. And now I inject visco again judiciously so that the iris does not prolapse out. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Before that, this speak of cortex is removed.
Yes, it is cut hold off and it is removed and then again I inject some visco. Hydro implantation is not a good idea in such cases, in floppy iris cases. Because as we try to keep the antechamber formed with irrigation, as soon as we open the main wound, iris will prolapse. So, inject visco judiciously and implant an intraocular lens in the capsular bag. In my right hand is an oil hook to check all around if there is any cortex or any lens matter hidden under the iris. And now, we have to remove the visco. I am using this 23 gauze Simco cannula, irrigating the anterior chamber and now I go behind the eye will irrigate the capsular bag so that no visco remains behind the capsular bag. Irrigate again, irrigate and aspirate again the anterior chamber. And now, I take bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. Irrigation cannula in my right hand, aspiration in my left. Irrigate the, irrigate over the iris so that the iris is pushed back and aspirate and see there is no prolapse of iris. Now I go behind the eye well and irrigate for some more time. My idea is not to leave any visco in the anterior chamber or in the capsular bag. Some visco may remain little bit that will not cause any problem that will get absorbed in a few days. And now I close the side port. This is a bit of moxie. Now I close the side port with BSS, hydrate corneal stroma with BSS, and the side port closes. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The antechamber is nicely formed. And then integrity of all the wounds are checked with a cotton tipped Johnson Bart. No leakage. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This is a totally unedited recording. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.